Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on how to use MIDI input inside MIDI Strama FX from Four Pockets FX. So in uh, this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how quickly change the input mode so you can use the MIDI Strama FX effectively as an arpeggiato, something similar to for example, what you could do with um, Stab Poly Arp Unit or another normal arpeggiator. I'm inside AUM. I have just loaded an instance of Strama FX and I've just connected the AUM keyboard, as you can see. So I've just opened um, mid Strama. And now what I like to bring to your attention is to scroll down until too much, until you see where it says input here. Now, and the default input is actually play notes made in control. This is the default one. And in this mode, it just plays notes as if MIDI strama effects was just a synth. Okay, nice and simple. Next, let's change the input to piano to guitar chords. Now, in this mode, what it will do, as long as you play chords, it will kick off the arpeggiator and it will play the selected variation, okay? But as soon as you let go uh, the fingers from the, from the keyboards, you release the keys, it will stop as well. So let's try. Okay, nice and simple. Next, let's look at the next one. It is called Pad Learn Mode. As soon as you activate that, you see the pad here has been highlighted in that uh, pale red color, where it says C major. Now, you need to at least hold three notes on the keyboard, which will form a chord. And as you do that, the chord will change on the pad and also here on the left hand side. So let's try a minor, as you can see. A minor again, G major, F major, and as you can see, change the on the part and also here the root note, the chord has changed as well, have changed as well. Next, and um, very interesting, this is my favorite one, is the piano to guitar latch mode. Effectively, it's like the first piano guitar mode, but it is in latch mode, so the uh, sound will continue to play until you, class, you, you press again on the up button here to stop the arpeggiator. But this allows you to remove your fingers from the keyboard, position them on another chord, and then press down, and then play the other chord. So let's try. As you noticed, I had to uh, click on the R button to stop it. And lastly, we have disable MIDI, of course, if you want to disable the MIDI input. Right, okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, this short demonstration on how to use MIDI Strama FX effectively like an arpeggiator via MIDI input. See you next time, bye.